our offering this morning is for Athens or for Heritage Community Christian School. Uh, there are it is a it is just a complicated time for the school. There are lots of exciting and good things happening uh, for the school. They are working very hard to plan a safe. Uh, school environment for all the students that come their way. And to that end, they have asked uh, and council has approved them using part of our facilities, sort of the classroom area. Uh, they're going to take care of the sanitization and cleaning of that part of the church um, that they use during the week. Uh, but it, it is exciting to be able to provide them with a place. The hope is that uh, if they have multiple sites of school happening, uh, and they are hoping to perhaps have a spot in, uh, in Lombardy and another spot in Kempville, uh, plus the existing school in New Dublin, plus some students here, uh, the hope is, is that if an outbreak occurs at one of those places, uh, then the others can continue on and students can experience school um, at least somewhat close to normal. Uh, details about that for all of you who are parents or uh, who are interested in becoming uh, families of Heritage Community Christian School uh, will be available in the coming weeks through the school. Just contact Heritage Community Christian School and they will be happy to tell you more about the plans that they have. It's, it's exciting and topsy-turvy times, not only for Heritage Community Christian School, but for all of our schools. Uh, whether they be public or Catholic or uh, whether they be private uh, schools, independent Christian schools like ours. Uh, either way, we pray for all of our teachers and all of our uh, boards and all of our volunteers and staff and administration and families. Uh, and we ask very much that uh, you would prayerfully consider uh, how you can help uh, the school uh, particularly financially, uh, school, uh, yeah, the school would value, value those contributions, and it is a way for us to help children grow in the knowledge of God and uh, of his creation and all that that encompasses to receive a Christian worldview as they learn and grow. Let us come to God in congregational Father in heaven, thank you so much for bringing us here together today. Lord, we pray that you will guide us, that you will open our hearts and minds as we dive further into scriptures to look at some more of your characteristics. We pray that you would not only help us understand your patience and generosity and humility, but that you will also instill in us greater patience and generosity and humility as well, O oh God. Lord, we thank you that these are gifts that you give your people and areas in which we can grow. And we thank you so very much that you are so patient and generous with us. We thank you so much that you humbled yourself to such a degree that you in your son, Jesus Christ, became one of us and you submitted yourself even to death at our hands for our sakes. Lord, thank you for that. Lord, we pray for this world. We continue to pray for the people of Beirut and, and Lebanon as a whole, as there is turmoil rising out of this uh, explosion from uh, a couple of weeks ago. Lord, we pray that you will guide them and that the international community, including us, will be able to help them and encourage them uh, in practical ways and through our prayers and intercession on their behalf as well, which is probably the most practical thing we can do. Lord, we pray as well, not only for, uh, not only for that, but we pray for our own country. We see, um, we see some political turmoil uh, carrying on in our own country. Lord, we pray for all of our government leaders in all the parties. Lord, we pray that, uh, yeah, they would have uh, heads and hearts of wisdom and that uh, they would 
they would continue to seek to do what is best for the country. And where they have gone wrong, Lord, we pray for repentance and for turning to you. Oh God, we pray as well for uh, this whole world again with regards to COVID-19. Uh, Lord, I know it sounds sometimes like a bit of a broken record, but nonetheless, uh, cases continue to rise worldwide, and we continue to see people dying of this disease. We, we know that uh, in Canada alone, uh, we have reached the mark of, of 9,000 people across this country uh, who have passed away uh, due to COVID-19. Lord, and yet we are looking at uh, reopening schools, and we are looking at all of those complications too. Lord, we pray that you will be with our small business owners, our, our, our workers, our, our volunteers, our uh, farmers, our educators. Lord, we pray that you will be with everyone who is navigating this time. Lord, you know of the ancient Chinese curse that goes, may you live in interesting times. Lord, we are living in interesting times. And we know that that is not truly a curse, but rather as weird as it may sound, it is a blessing from you. For we have the opportunity to learn and grow, to learn how to share your love in new ways, to learn how to build community in new ways, and to strengthen some old connections as well. Oh God, we pray for those connections within our congregation. We pray in particular for people who are feeling lonely, for people who are feeling isolated. We pray for people who are struggling with, uh, with job losses, who are struggling with health concerns, who are struggling uh, to keep their mental health good. We ask, O oh God, that you would intervene in their lives. Father, we pray too, that we may be a shining light in this world in your name. Lord, we pray all these things, asking in Jesus' name. Amen.